We found ourselves with another bizarre player today. The first and foremost is that it's not a human being. And that's not an, meant as an insult. More so that uh, somebody like contacted me on Twitter and they're like, Hey Ross, you should check out this player. It's an obvious bot, keeps rolling Yumi support, latches on to the AD carry, buys basic stuff, but never buys anything else after that. Got an 18% win rate on Yumi. I mean, yep, true, they do still buy more red wards than I do. Uh, but I'm assuming that's because it's just like the pre-made thing that you buy at the start of the game. And then that's all they do for the rest of the game. Hilariously enough, not a 0% win rate. Uh, that's just the way she goes. Why do people keep making Yumi bots? Like, I don't understand. Somebody, like, got in contact with me after the first video I did on the person who had played. I say person that had played. Somebody had programmed the bot, and it was playing, like, 18 to 20 hours per day. There was never a break of more than, like, three hours between any given game and beyond that it was just constant blasting of, of of games you could say that it's easy leveling but like honestly i feel like there's much more efficient places to do that if you're gonna do some kind of botting in that regard i don't know if ranked games provide you with more xp but certainly doing like co-op versus ai seems to always be the maneuver as opposed to like something that's far more detectable because like in, in co-op versus ai generally speaking it's usually like four other bots so you're not going to get reported whereas if you play like 30 games a year me in a day and then everybody in your every single game you play reports you for botting or reports you for like inting or reports you for something you're definitely not gonna have that account last as long as you want it to last i don't know if people are doing this to sell them or if people are doing this for whatever reason but somebody yeah somebody got in contact with me because they managed to add one of the yumi bots who was manned by a human being and they were like why are you doing this and then honestly it was like a it was like a disney villain like they were just like i just wanted to see if i could <laughs> I just wanted to see like can we do this why not so we're, we're gonna watch one of the games today bizarrely enough like I, I'm, I'm also just curious about this game please ignore my desktop I'm, I'm a little bit curious about this whole situation for a number of reasons one is it uh Yumi won I also there's 380 carries in this game and what the hell was going on in Iron Eagle that's what I want to know what the heck is going on did she have a game at top? Oh my god, she did. I tell you what, you give a you give a like and a comment and a subscribe on this video when this goes live on YouTube. Maybe we uh maybe we spectate that game as well, baby. Oh, this explains a lot actually. Okay, the knife X knife or X is running it down. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I was wondering why uh, the Twitch had uh, zero kills and 14 deaths at the beginning of the game. Turns out maybe that is not the hardest riddle to, to crack. Does he just do that for the rest of the game or... He does appear to be just walking back down mid. Um, maybe he's gonna curve into the jungle. Oh, no, he's going to the jungle. Why he's doing that, I have no idea. This isn't Warhammer Vermintide, bro. You gotta play the game, man. From what I can tell and from what the person sent me, uh, they just said that Yumi buys, like, the pre-made, like, you know, your recommended items. They'll buy Spell Thief's Edge, and then they'll buy Control Word, and that is it. That's literally it. That's all they pick up. Bot lane not helping Twitch at all. That's definitely based on the first death that you had in the game. Surely, that's going to make the mental real nice here. We've already got a kill in top lane from Bronze 5 Pride. Why? I don't know why you would, but... There's a lot. Why would you go trap first? <laughs> why would you, uh, I mean, sure. Why not, right? That's a, that's a weird one. What? Like, what's happening, man? I don't get it. Why did, why did Pantheon steal blue buff? Why did Twitch not smite it? Why did... Why did he not smite? Because they saw him coming. Pantheon was charging that for a long time. And... What? The heck? I can see where the, the 014 is coming from now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the, why is Riven here now? What are you talking about? What, what the heck happened? Where did she come from? She just walked down lane, bro. She's level one, dude. Something is serious. This is a ranked game, man. And, like, it works. Somehow, I think. Like, no, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure. No, did she just die? 
Dude, they just pass like ships in the night, man. What the f- It does work, because the sipper dies for no reason, man. <laughs> the dice just runs it down. <laughs> oh, dude, what is Evelyn doing, man? She just gets domed, dude. What the f- What the heck? Dude, why- Like, I, I, I can't tell if she was genuinely like, I think I win these, but it's Pantheon, bro. It's Pantheon, man. If my pant did that, I would do the same. I'm not, like, listen, I could see maybe why he would, but then also, like, like, I can see his side of things. But also, first of all, why did he run it down to begin with? Second of all, why was Pantheon going to steal it? And third of all, if, I mean, I could, you, I mean, I don't think it takes, like, Albert Einstein or, like, Sherlock Holmes to detect that, like, a Pantheon charging his spear next to a 100 HP blue buff is going to throw the spear and take it. So, like, you have smite, like, why don't you just, like, use it, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is now happening. Evelyn flashed for it. Like, what? Meanwhile, bot lane. Uh, Sever is tanking, like, the entire population of Venezuela right now. Like, just, they are just breaking her PC, man. They are smashing her bits. It, it is, she's tanked, like, she tanked, like, like, to, like, 12 minions there, dude. <laughs> She just tanked all of it, man. Evelyn flashed down, because for whatever reason, man, she was like, you know what? Do you know what would be a good idea? She was coming for it from a mile away as well, dude. Flash in. Doesn't even get the assist. Doesn't land nothing. Hey, what can you say? Four minutes deep, we got fuck, uh, freaking nine kills. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, hold on a minute. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's actually more than that. One more, because one was an execute from Twitch, so it's like there's been like a bunch of deaths. Meanwhile, we go back into mid lane. Jin, if like honestly, like I feel like this is a vaguely manageable matchup if you're playing the carry, but you just cannot go near him. Like it's just like if you're going within like him pressing W range, you're dead. That's like it. You just have to maintain like complete distance on him, otherwise you're just gonna get like absolutely domed by Pantheon. Uh, Riven is like two level two, man. Like, and funnily enough, like Caitlyn isn't even like really that far ahead. She is like ignite barrier for some reason. Like, what the what the heck? How is this possible? <laughs> Do you know what the thing is as well? Like Yumi isn't even healing, man. Yumi is full mana. She's not even casting spells. Oh, she did. She used one. I think I may be the first in the game. Actually, I think I may be the first in the game, or maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. You know what? She saved him. A bit bold for Zyra, but still. This is insane, man. I don't know what's happening here. I think it's random, man. I think that if she does press E, it's like random. So I haven't really seen her use it well. But funnily enough, her using it there was actually a pretty good usage of it. Congratulations, uh, AI. Learning AI. You did good. <laughs> it just seems to be spamming it off cooldown now. There are five AD carries in this game, man. I'm like losing my mind right now. I don't know what's going on. I have not seen a game of this low quality in quite a while. Like, I talk so highly about how, like, Iron and Bronze players are actually getting better at the game. And I think that, like, the quality of, like, players over the years has gotten so much higher. And then, like, you go and hit me with this kind of game, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, honestly, I've been bigging you guys up for years, and now you go and do, do me like this? Like, this is truly a doomed game, man. Like... Truly, like, doomed, like, I don't even understand, like, that fl I don't even think that flash was, like, necessary, like, I can't pretend I've not done flashes like that before, but, like, I don't know, man, like, why bother? <laughs> why, man? Twitch is still level one, he's just, he's running it right in, baby, he's not even, even he's not even attacking him, because he doesn't even want the kill. We got Zyra pulling up on mid lane now, Sever following suit, possibly pulling up with a flank, not gonna do nothing though, is it? How much you wanna like Dude, you gotta be kidding me. What's happening here? Has he got mana flow band on? No, he's he got no he's got nullifying orb, is he? He's he's got comment nullifying orb? What the heck? Dude, I, like is everybody in this game in AI? <laughs> They ignited him, man! Like, what are you doing, dude? He's, he's, he's harmless! Evelyn's still missing out on all the kills as well. 
Oh my god. Caitlyn, I don't know what's happened to Riven. She's given up as well, man. She's just ditching lane. She, did she die, like, recently? Not to my knowledge. But she's, she's just given up on... She's given up on lane. It is truly Pantheon versus the world here. Dude, Evelyn, sweetheart. <laughs> oh my god, man. What is that? It's like Looney Tunes. You could actually put like the cartoon bonk sound and like the cartoon like feet running really fast sound effect for this entire game, man. Uh, this game was in fact not recorded in 2009. It was recorded five hours ago. Five hours ago in 2022. Dude, honestly, dude, like you guys gotta watch some YouTube guys or something, man. I don't know what's going on. This is honestly like. The way League of Legends was meant to be played. Like, unironically, like, I, if you were like, would you like to watch players at their best, the peak of all skill of this game, like, the culmination of 13 potential years of, like, player development, like, infrastructure building, and, like, general, like, complete economic turn towards, like, gaming, or would you like to watch, like, the worst players in the entire server, like, not really sure what they're doing, uh, playing at, like, 3 a.m. I think we know what we would take. I think we know exactly what we'd pick here. Like, no, everybody is, like, it's some other guy's fault. <laughs> not one person in this game believes that it is their fault. So, Pantheon, he's, like, Twitch sucks. Twitch is, like, this Pantheon stole my stuff. He sucks. Riven is like, I'm not leaning against this. I'm leaving. Kog'Maw is in prob- He's probably just chilling, man. He Papa John, man, he's just like, whatever, dude. You mean he's thinking a collection of ones and zeros? Zyra, like, she's probably wondering where the hell Rady Carry is right now. Uh, Evelyn is blaming Jen for stealing kills. Like, Caitlyn is just <gasps> kind of chilling as well. All right, so... So there's a like a couple of questions. I understand that she probably realizes he's running it down. But I want to keep an eye on that Evelyn. I want to see if she actually knows how to use Evelyn's charm. I know that sounds like an insane thing to want to see somebody attempt to do, but I'm wondering if she knows how it works. Just curious. You know? Oh, dude, honestly, iron is better than this. I, I don't know what this is. This isn't iron. This isn't... We've, we've, we've traveled to a parallel dimension. Iron players are better than this, 100%. Like, I... Like, this is a weird one, man. I, I, there's no show up, man. <laughs> this is something different. This is something different. Because this isn't just, like, one person who's not that great at the game. That's fine. This is, like, an entire cult. Like, this is 10 people. In fact, I would say that, like, Kog'Maw and Caitlyn are probably doing fine. But, like, everybody else is, like, this is, like, straight up, like, s like at least seven Jokers in a bot, dude. Or, like, six Jokers in a bot. Like, hold on a minute. We got, we got Fleet Footwork on. Right, hold on a minute. Right, I haven't even looked at this yet. Caitlyn has got Dark Harvest, which is a bit presumptuous, I would argue, but nevertheless. No Flash either. Fleet Footwork Evelyn... We got Comet Gen. Comet Gen, not so weird. I would say, like, if you're playing a mid, I could see it. I don't necessarily think it's great, but, like, I uh, vaguely understand the logic. Um, press the attack sever, totally fine. Comet, Zyra, totally fine. Um, press the attack Riven, I'll be honest, not really entirely sure on what you, what you take on that, if I'm being honest with you. Dark Harvest, yeah, that's, that's fine, I would say. Everything else, pretty weird. But there's some really weird runes going on. Zyra's uh, doing fine as well. I don't think so. so she, I mean, she's not like, I mean, I, you know what? She's playing to her rank for sure. She's made some plays that I'm like, what? She's just like walking into minions and tanking like lots and lots and lots and lots of minions. And like, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what's happening here? This is just a headache of the game. <laughs> just like absolutely domed, man. It's just... Just domed, bro. That's it, man. Pantheon is piping, man. There's no two ways about it. 
I need to I need to have a look at like you know what actually I'm I'm curious and I need I must know. I think this person is actually new at the game. So uh, the the Evelyn, this is maybe a bit much. I think they need to they need to maybe practice a little bit and then help the help ranked after a little bit. This is this is gonna be tough, but I I will admit that like I appreciate that they are playing like 10 to 15 ranked games a day despite not actually winning any. Um. I mean, there's only one way to learn, and it's by failing and learning, I guess, but they have a low death count. The death number is the second number after the first slash. The first, they have a low kill count, which is usually zero, but this kill, the death count is usually like six or up. <laughs> Honest to God, like, how, how is it, right? How is it that somehow the Kog'Maw lane with a bot is the least worrisome lane in this entire game. How has this happened? That like, the bot is making everybody look bad here by like, just not screwing up. Dude, that Evelyn does no damage. That's some nice orb walking from Kog'Ma, dude. That's some really nice orb walking, man. He was like, kiting her back and everything. Damn. That's a, uh, that's some tech, man, I like that. I mean, Sivir has disappeared. I keep seeing her run towards bot, but then she just isn't bot. I don't know where she keeps going. She like kind of went towards bot, and now she's going into the jungle, man, or something. All right, Zara's here. Actually, that Marvin name, that is a bot account. Not like a bot as in a robot, but like that's a, that is an account that has been purchased. I'd be, willing to, I'd be willing to put money that that is like a fresh, not too far off level 30 account as well. It's level 119, bro. Why you name yourself after a bot, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> I always see accounts that are bot that are like, exactly that name or not exactly that name but it's just like i i name and then like a string of number uh, layers <laughs> can you tell if evelyn has leveled up charm she's got one point in it yeah her build path is like normal she max q and then i don't know what she's gonna max after that because she hasn't got any other points in it but like it's pretty normal i would say well it's the build path she's got the build path this is what she has um as for like actual item builds here, like everything looks pretty normal as far as it goes. Like, pff, I don't. <laughs> pff, I don't know. I, apart from Jin, but like Jin, I don't know. I don't know what Jin's up to, man. I guess like Dustblade is a little bit weird, but like she's doing okay. Dude, she hasn't put. She's put one point into Q, four points into the trap, and four points into. Like her net and four points in a trap. That is bizarre. I mean, like. I mean, like, whatever. I guess. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> she's taking, like, a nip tower, so, like, uh, like, like, what do I know? I mean, Revan's AFK, granted, but, like, I don't know. Um, Revan's build is, like, totally normal as far as, like, skill thingies are concerned. Anybody else a little bit weird here? Not to my knowledge. Uh, I will actually... Zyra has five points in in her W, in her seats. That's not right, is it? She's got two points in everything else, and five points in ramping growth. That don't seem right. What's Yumi leveling? Four points in W, four points in E. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was some damage on Sever. Uh, understandable. Have a great day. Just so you know, because I'm not like a big Zyra player, you don't go for you don't max your W first, right? Dude, she's getting domed. Is Twitch running it? He is running it. Yeah, he's zero fourteen. He's been, he's been running it all game and still somehow is winning. Twitch has got uh, four points. He's level f yeah. He's yeah. Well, he's level four. And the blue team have surrendered with three votes. Oh, somebody like straight up left the game. Oh, Evelyn left the game, right? <laughs> Evelyn left the game, huh? Wow. Uh, that was something. My heart hurts after that one, man. Like, I'm not even sure who votes yes on that. So, like, Jen's doing pretty well. Granted, Pantheon is, like, killing everybody. But Riven, Riven doesn't want anything to do with Caitlyn. 
Twitch is running it down, and Caitlyn is on, like, inhib. So, like, why would, like, I I'm assuming that the one no is Caitlyn. But, like, even if you're, like, I hate this game, I want out. If you're, if you're, like, Jin, and you're, like, 10 and 6, you could be, like, my Caitlyn is literally this close to being on Nexus Towers, and nobody's gonna stop her. Because Riven has been actively avoiding her the entire game, and Twitch is gonna run it into her. If he is gonna go near her. I'm not saying that he's good, because he's just been getting kills off Twitch. But, like, it doesn't matter if you're getting kills off of Twitch, and he's 0 and 14. You know for a fact that when he looks at his match history after the game is done, his ego is gonna be like, You did good, you did good, look at all these numbers, look at all these numbers, look at all these kills you got, it was your team, it was your team, it was your team. Pantheon eventually stops her. Now, does he though? <laughs> this is just like a genuine question. Oh, hey, hey, ah, sorry. <laughs> um, he's um sorry. He was moonwalking there, dude. <laughs> oh, can we see it again? Oh no 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 no. I don't. We don't get to see him moonwalk again. Um, I don't think that. Like honestly, I I don't think that. I think Pantheon is like locked in and like that. I'm going to bed and I'm killing everybody. I think they, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if he would stop her. Because he was gonna back, and then he was like, you know what, man? Screw it. You never know. What a game. That was intense, and that was just bizarre, man. I don't I don't even know what to say about that. I, I, I feel worse off for having watched that, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. <laughs> oh.